things are more destructive than all others, only one thing is more destructive than these two. Both together. Bad philosophy and love of self. See, if you have bad philosophy but actually love the world around you, you might come up with some weird solutions, be infected with a disease that we call confusion, or write some odd New Year's resolutions, but your life itself wouldn't be a societal pollution. And if you have good philosophy, if you just love yourself more than your brother, well, you'll build your big house with a three-car garage, live in hedonism, believe in a facade, conquer the land, and give your family a bigger yard, all the while the heart you say you love with becomes hard. And even though both of those things separate aren't great, a straw man might argue with only one, you're living a happy fate. But the real issue is when these two things come together to create a diabolical situation. Bad philosophy and love of self creates Germany in the 40s, Rwanda and slavery, discrimination, hatred, rape and deprivation, segregation, Haitian nation, damnation, like you heard on the news, that those people deserve that earthquake, are we all fools? America, the high and mighty, looking back on atomic bomb attacks, blaming the Germans and Japs, calling them evil from within. We are just like the Nazis. you got to understand their sin. It isn't that they hated everyone else. It was that they loved themselves and believed a philosophy that told them to do what they did. The same two things that crept into Europeans to make them enter Africa and take away freedoms. It isn't that God's fault that they say they believed it. It's that bad philosophy and love of self came together to break even, and evil got even, even eviler than Eden. Hmm. That Eden that God created and the king was dreaming in that fell far from heaven to create hell in which we live in. Praying for Augustine, city of God, not Dante's inferno. King was shot in that balcony because he was so thorough. Lee in love with the world around him that he couldn't let it burn to the ground anymore. <laughs> king didn't love himself. He loved you. King was a Dang good philosopher, too. In my words, he was a religious anthropologist. Check it, let me explain. Anthropology is the study of human origins, and a lot of people think that means Darwinian evolution, but it's not. It's really a philosopher's term that asks one all-encompassing question. What is man? What is a human being? What is the reason that we reason that we're affected by seasons and bet to commit treason against one another? What are we? But see, King was too smart for those philosophers. Rather than try to answer their age-old question, he decided to pose his own. To lead a nation to the confession of their transgressions. Not what is a human being, but who is a human being. King wasn't content in being a vent of frustration. He came to write the dictionary of a new racial anthropological language. Of which bad philosophy and love of self would be left on the outside of the cries of widows, orphans, slaves, and victims of all sizes whose prize would be to be brought into the feast to eat at the table of humanity. King asked who? And tonight, in light of him, I pose the exact same question to all of you. Regardless of your religious or political affiliation, you cannot close your eyes and believe the lie about the 21st century genocide. The lie that says the children are not losing their lives because they're not actually human. They are human. In the tradition of king, to give a vote to the voteless, I raise my voice for the voiceless to give a choice to the choiceless. I'm amazed at how easily we look back at history, condemn the people of the murder of humanity, the genocides and race-based slavery, and not see our own plight. Tonight, don't read or write until you think about what King might say. When he come back today and see the graves of children who never saw the light of a single day, when he applaud our ways, white children and black children holding hands in the sun can never happen. If they're never born. Bad philosophy and love of self. This isn't a march on Washington as it is a march to your soul. I don't care about voters, YouTube views, and Twitter tweets. I just want each of you to look within and see millions of children who are victims of a sin and ask yourself these two questions. Who is human and do I love them over myself? Thank you. Right.